I've come here to this typical Victorian street filled with different styles of houses but all having bay windows. And you know, bay windows are sometimes really difficult to dress, so I'm going to share with you some top tips on how to do it. So here we've got a very traditional bay window with beautiful character features but there's a very fine line between being able to show off those features and being able to create a way of controlling light and privacy. Now here's an interesting bay window with a door in the middle, so I'm going to recommend blinds for this. When we're looking at putting blinds in a bay window, it's really important to get them measured accurately for a neat finish. So I'm going to ask Adam, one of our Hillary's advisors who is trained to measure, to come along and do it for me while I'm at look at some fabric designs. Well I've chosen my fabric and I'm going to go for roller blinds on the two side windows and above the door in this lovely green. I really love the finished look of these roller blinds in this bay window. When their blinds are all at a level it looks very neat but a little designer tip is that I love them when you have them at all different levels, quite contemporary. Another option for bay windows is shutters. Shutters make a real style statement at the moment, but it's a classic look that stands the test of time and won't need replacing to keep up with trends. They really enhance our window here, which is already a beautiful feature of the room, offering fabulous views of the garden. Bay windows in modern properties are great, but just aren't quite so decorative. This means that the window dressings can take centre stage. In this window, for example, we've teamed Venetian blinds in a flamboyant metallic shade with these bold curtains for a real sense of drama. This modern window is really big and in a neutral room. Curtains at such a large window could be overpowering and reduce the amount of light coming in. So blinds are a simple alternative, a neat finish that suits the room perfectly. Roman blinds like these are luxurious and do just the job. So that's bay windows. But up and down the country, there are many properties with bow windows, especially in those houses built between 1930 and 1970. This four-paned version has a flat wall up above it, which makes it perfect for curtains. These can be pulled all the way back to give a clear view of the window and into the garden. I've come to this mid-20th century property which has been renovated and had this new UPVC bow window put in. These particular windows go directly to the ceiling which may give us a bit of a tricky situation but what I've done is asked another one of our advisors, Sanjay, to come in and see what we can do. Sanjay, what do you think? I thought we could fit a single curve vertical following the line of the window and we could fit it straight to the ceiling. Oh, that would be good. But I think in this case, I think the homeowner would like something a little softer. We could consider five Roman blinds in this bay window and we could follow the panes of the window. You know, I think they would all look really nice, but on this occasion, I think I'm going to go for voile curtains. You know, a really lovely soft look at the window that would follow the bay and give some privacy into this room. We could have them down to the sill. Yeah, I think that will work because it will avoid the radiator. And then we could add dress curtains at the side. We could put a textile in which had a design or a lovely strong bold colour. Or we could keep the same voile curtains and just make a lovely frame at the window. What do you think about that, Sanjay? Yeah, I think it would be a perfect finish for this window. It'll look really nice. Well, I think that this looks really lovely. It's definitely softened what was originally quite a stark window. And the way we've done it is that you can still keep out those inquisitive neighbours if you're having a dinner party in here. If you'd like to know more about how to dress your bay window, make an appointment with your Hillary's advisor. <laughs>